Welcome for a physics lesson. We are going to continue with floating and sinking. This session, I want to provide extra questions on floating and sinking. It's very important I mention that floating and sinking is a topic governed by two principles or laws because we have the Archimedes principle and the law of flotation. Therefore, I shall answer a question involving the Archimedes principle, which says that when a body is fully or partially immersed in a fluid, it displaces or it experiences an upthrust which is equal to the fluid it displaces. So if a body is fully or partially immersed, the upthrust to experience in that fluid will be equal to the weight of the fluid it is going to displace. Let's take an example here and see how more we can understand Archimedes principle. We are told a stone of volume. This is a case in equation. Uh, in the year 2018, a cube, a wooden cube of, sorry, I think I'm reading the wrong, the wrong text. Yes, a stone of volume. Experiences an upthrust. Experiences an upthrust of 6.5 newtons when fully immersed in a certain liquid. Fully immersed in a certain Liquid, a certain liquid, determine the density of the liquid. Determine the density of the liquid. Determine the density of the liquid. So now in this question, we can already we can already see the word fully immersed fully immersed. So when you see the word fully immersed, then you take your mind or you tune to uh, Archimedes principle which deals with either partial immersion or full immersion of a certain substance in a fluid. Therefore, for instance, we are given a stone, volume 800 cubic centimeters, experiences an upthrust of 6.9, 6.5. So it is very important to say that the liquid displaced is equal to a weight of weight of liquid displaced in the solution now. Weight of liquid displaced will be equal to 6.5 newtons. 6.5 newtons. With now mass of the liquid because its weight can be determined. Remember here we are saying the weight is equal to 5 because upthrust is 6.5 newtons and we say by Archimedes principle that the liquid displaces the weight of to the upthrust a body experiences when fully immersed. Therefore here now we can get the mass by saying that mass equals the weight divided by G 6.5 out of G 0 0.65 kilograms uh -huh. which is equal to 650 grams 650 grams yeah now we got grams mass of the liquid and because the stone has a volume then when the stone is fully immersed the liquid it is going to displace will equal the stone's volume so volume of stone Volume of stone equals the volume of liquid displaced, which will give us 800 cubic centimeters. Since the stone is fully immersed, then its own volume will be equal to the volume of the liquid that will get displaced. And we know that volume of liquid, the weight it has, 
or the mass it has. Therefore, now with mass and volume, we can get density. Mass out of volume. So for the liquid displaced, we have mass of 650 and it's having a volume of 800. And this will give us 650 divided by 800. Zero. Eight one two five grams per cubic centimeter, which can also be expressed as eight twelve point five kilograms per meter cube. Therefore, the same density can be multiplied by a thousand, so that is expressed in SI unit, which is kilogram per meter cubed. Therefore, that is how we navigate through a question involving floating and sinking, to be particular, the Archimedes principle. Kindly uh, subscribe to Shifting Grades and share this link with your friends.